I was actually waiting for more responses. I did get few responses from the children and they were really beautiful. I look forward to get some more. So today we're going to start with the second mandala and it is a very nice time for you to immerse totally in the art. Art nurtures your soul. So I please welcome all of you to join us and do some art together. So now we start with our process. So again we will use compass to draw a circle. We draw two concentric circles. Now in this mandala we are not dividing the circle into different parts but we are going to make the circles of different sizes. Being the center point varied. Always make a little double line You can overlap your circles Create the different pattern overlapping the circles of different sizes. I have made this on a sheet, something like this. So this is the basic grid which we have prepared for our mandala. Now we will do some basic lines what we are going to do it as a fillers. This is just the preparation so that your planning of doing and creating is done and you know how you want to place them. This is with some triangles and then the horizontal and the vertical lines. While drawing the mandala, it is really nice to appreciate how the simple design can create a lot of impact. Simple swirls. Triangles and lines. With some dots. Some curved lines and filling in, the be in between rhombus it creates. You can create your own fillers. Just apply all the basic shapes and try creating design. This is the best time when you are creating mandala. So you can play with many many designs of your own. Experiment. So these are the, some of the basic fillers which we have done. Now what we need to do is, this is the grid which we had made. And this is the way now we are gonna place the designs, the fillers we have decided onto the Mandela. Enjoy every moment doing it. Don't be in a rush. That would be really nice. You can play with basic shapes. keep on decorating as I'm using see scallops here scallops and I'll be use simple lines to just fill in the pattern put in some dots to another in between the scallops
the curved lines filling the inside curved lines filling it inside curved lines filling it inside and then complete the pattern here this in this pattern I have used the scallops and the diagonal lines again here it's the petal simple petal shape and the curves up so you can fill up the complete area with the different designs like this. The outer line, we did the scallop and there are two lines of scallop, you divide this. If you want to use triangles, you can use triangles here. For example, if you want to do the triangle, you can do the triangle here. You want to do reverse scallops, you can do the reverse scallops or you can do the petal drop up to you, you can play with your designs even you can have a multi designs so this would uh, something we you know it would be filled up like this now after you are done with your basic black and white work the blocks which will be there in between the design lines we will color them differently you can choose your own color scheme or you can keep on picking up the colors as you feel like like for example I picked up the base color my base color as yellow in this mudla so you can do the basic color I'll do few blocks to show it to you, will not take much time, then you can experiment on your own. And to highlight it, I can take a little greenish yellow or a light olive green or a, or a mustard yellow also you could take. And we just try to merge two different colors of the same tone. You can even use aquarels here, aquarels are the pencil colors which you like in which you uh, color it with the pencil and with this just the water you can give a uh, painted look. Then you might can, you can take a um, peach, it's always better to take a medium tone or a lighter tone first and then highlight it with a darker medium tone or a bright tone. It's, it gives you a nice effect. See on a peach I'm just doing a little yellow, sorry, orange. So we'll shade it with little orange to give a little nicer effect. We can take up this aqua green. taking the colors of the same tones first. In coming up classes, we'll do a color theory, which is very important when we make the design. We need to understand the basic concept of how to use a color. I'm highlighting it with a little turquoise color. You can merge it with a tissue if you're not using the aquarel. But if you're using the aquarel, then we can leave it like this. So let's say we can take a light pink here. And then we can uh, make it tonal on the top. Like this, see this, this is all basic color has been done here. Now what we can do is we can take a simple brush, take a little water, water to it and then just merge it. 
So whatever shade effects what you have tried to give, they will merge it together. You see, it looks nice now. You see, the color effect has come. Here we have a little orange more. Be careful while using the brush, don't take it to the black pen, otherwise that will create a little mess, the black will spread. Just try to avoid putting the water on the black pen. See this is the aqua green and the yellow on the top. I personally like this shade a lot really beautiful again this is pink with Mustard in it. You can add on little whatever you want. You can add on little more elements. You want to add on some colors to this. But I prefer black and white as the basic design lines with the colored background. So do you like this Manila? Share your mandala with me. 